All right, everyone, welcome back. I hope you are doing very good today. I hope your day is going really well. Last time we were here, we were dealing with Mr. Freeze and that went really well to the point where we got him arrested. So that is nice. Mr. Freeze is all locked up, which is really good. But unfortunately, Gotham is still at crisis and we still have loads of things to do. We've put um, our main mission uh, to the side for now because I really wanted to focus on some of these side ones. I felt that they were building up a bit and, you know, we've unlocked, uh, well, three of them, so that's really good. Well, we completed Mr. Freeze and we got two left. Uh, one being Harley Quinn, which we did, uh, I think, two episodes ago at the Monarch Theatre. She's gone missing, gone into hiding, so I thought give Harley a break. She's a, well, I was going to say she's a good person at heart. She's not really, but I have a soft spot for Harley Quinn, so, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll let her have her fun for a little bit. But for now... I was thinking we could deal with someone who we just found on the scene, and that is Clayface, which is really interesting. Someone I never thought would be in this game. I wasn't expecting Clayface to be here. I really wasn't. So I believe this started with an email from Detective Montoya, which basically stated that there was some um, person mugging, uh, some person uh, some or a group of people that were mugging citizens of Gotham that were faceless. So and Montoya assumed it was a mask, but it turns out it wasn't that. So there have been reports of a man attacking people across Gotham. The GCPD is unable to identify him, so he hasn't been arrested yet. Let's check it out when we can. That we did, and we found pieces of clay on the ground after dealing with the faceless mugger. He literally turned into mush right in front of us, which I was shocked about. And if we can find out more, it might lead us to Clayface. So considering the fact that they were made of clay, it's pretty clear that it was Clayface that was behind this. Now we are just trying to investigate that, probably by finding more of these faceless muggers. So last we heard of Clayface, he'd fallen into the turbine at the Gotham City Reservoir. Is, is there a chance he still might be alive? Well, I'm pretty sure you can't kill Clayface, can you? He's, isn't he indestructible? I'm not even too sure, but we do have a profile on him, so we can check that out. Here we go, Clayface. Basil Carlo was once an actor, but his delusions of grandeur and his ego led him into a life of crime. I was unable to save Carlo from the accident that turned him into the criminal known as Clayface, and he has held a personal grudge against me ever since. His anger and his ability to mould his body into any shape have made... a uh, into any shape have made for a dangerous combination in our past encounters. The last time we faced off, Carlo fell to his death, having been torn apart by a turbine. I couldn't stop it. Carlo may have hated me, but he never deserved a violent end. Clayface's motivations are simple, vengeance. He's a spiteful person who has gone from being a b b b I don't know that word, a bajionin, bajioning actor to be, to be a disgraced criminal. Okay. And these, specifically, are the clay mimic. Anthromorphized clay separated from clayface, roughly the size of an average person, with none of the boring stuff, like a personality or a face. <laughs> so yeah, we don't really know much about clayface, but that is what we are going to investigate now. So we've got to investigate the strange faceless criminals roaming the streets of Gotham, and we have got to investigate four of them. So... I believe they were located in the mid section of Gotham on Tricorner Island. It was either Tricorner Island or it was up here. I'm not sure exactly where. Well, I guess we'll find out when we get to Gotham. Since we are going out onto the streets though, I was thinking we could investigate some other stuff while we're at it, including the watch. So a while back, we actually got an email um, about a contact of Batman's that we should speak to. An old ally of Batman working with an organization called The Watch asked to meet up in North Gotham, visit the anonymous source. On the email, I believe it said something like um, reliable contacts with Batman. So we can check that out whilst we were in Gotham City. That would be quite interesting to do. So let's get started. We're playing as Nightwing because we haven't played as Nightwing in a good, good while. And I really want to um, play as him, so that's what, why we are playing as him today. Let's uh, make sure that his suit and stuff is all up to date. Can we create anything better? Ooh, we can. We can. That's good. 
And it looks nicer. Well, kind of. Brilliant. So last time we kind of played around with the suit that it gave us, but today we could try going with some of the transmog stuff. What kind of transmogs do we have? We have New Guard, which looks cool, I guess. Yeah, it looks, yeah. Titan or Black, hmm. Eternal. Cool mask shape. What else have we got? Beyond. Haven't used that one yet. Night Ops, we've got a few with Nightwing. Eternal kind of looks like it's got a darker shade of blue and it's got the cooler mask. So I'm leaning towards Eternal. Yeah, let's go with Eternal. We are good, we are good, we are good to go. We've got eight points to spend with Nightwing, by the way, because we haven't played as him in a while, so we should get some really cool stuff. Triple darts, shoots three darts at once instead of one. I haven't really used the darts before, and I probably should, so we could get that. Strike distance plus. Nightwing's melee attacks can strike enemies from farther away. I think that's going to be more useful. Guardian, defeating an enemy reduces the nest ability cooldown by 50%. Hmm. Cool. Increase the number of attacks in Nightwing's, Nightwing's melee combo by one. Last hit is known as knockdown. I kind of like that one. That's nest. Right. Hmm. What else do we have? Health bolstered defense. When Nightwing's health is at least 70%, he gets a 5% defense boost, scaling up to 20% at full health. Mm, that's nice. Momentum gain increases the momentum gain. Also good. Extra momentum bar. Hmm. Trampoline. Nightwing's pounce ability is automatically followed by a high jump on the enemy. This ability cannot be used if Nightwing is under a slow ceiling. Critical expertise, critical damage, and what is that one? Assassin's Mark. Marks an enemy, increasing Nightwing, increasing Nightwing and his allies' damage to the foe by 20%. Oh, not 20, 10%. Oh. Um, I don't really mark enemies whilst we're in combat, though, unless I've initially marked them uh, before starting the fight. So, hmm, they're all pretty good. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's good. So why don't we get everything in this top row and then alongside the combo ones? That's good. Let's do that. So to strike distance plus so we can hit people from further away. We'll gain an extra combo move. We'll increase his defense and his health. We'll get a momentum gain. We'll get an extra bar. Trampoline, I mean, we could try it, we will be good. And then critical, critical expertise, done. Nice, brilliant. And we have his nest ability. Duration 20 seconds, cooldown five minutes. Nightwing creates a nest around himself and any allies, granting a large defense boost and healing over time, cool. The nest also inflicts damage over time at any enemies that step inside it. I'll try that out. Hopefully it's as good as it sounds. We'll go with the Interceptor though. Okay, we're good to go. Let's head out into Gotham. Belfry, got anything court related? According to the poem, there is a secret society that pulls the strings of Gotham from the shadows. And they've been around as long as the city itself. Okay, but how does that line up with what Penguin said? If the legend is true, and the court is as powerful as the stories claim, there's a good chance they're orchestrating the releases from Blackgate. Which would mean they've been getting away with murder for... centuries. Yep. Fingers crossed we'll learn more at the Powers Club. Maybe, but uh, sadly we're not going to the Powers Club today. Alright, I'm just trying to test out Nightwing's Knighthood ability, and I'm not sure if I'm actually using it right. Maybe I am. Yeah, for some reason it was bringing me down. Oh, that's because it's inverted. I see. I was... it's inverted controls. Oh, now I get it. This thing is cool. Oh, there's like a little... It looks like a, it looks all rolled up. Well, 
that's kind of cute. Okay, let's carry on. Where are we gonna go first? So this is the watch email. You don't know me, but I'm a friend of Batman's. He asked me to contact you through this address if I hadn't seen him in a while. I have a contact, uh, no, I have information that could, that could be of use to you. Come see me in North Gotham. Hmm. Do we investigate that first or do we investigate Clayface? Hmm. Well, I'm not even sure where to find the Clayface bugs. That's the issue. The clay mimic attacks seem to be concentrated in West End. Once in the area, use... Ah, uh, right, okay. So we need to head to the West End. All right, well, that seems to be a lot closer than that. So we'll put a marker in the West End and then we'll deal with Clayface because that seems to be a bit more important. Then we can check out this anonymous person. So, I wonder why Clayface is deciding to mug people. It seems a bit out of his M.O. Well, I'm not even sure what his normal M.O. is. But either way, considering he's back in Gotham, it doesn't mean anything good. Alright, here we are in Gotham's West End. Oh, that's how I do that. The eject button. Who knew? Probably loads of people. Okay, so already off the bat, we have three. All right, let's get dealing with them. See what Clayface is up to. You rock! Hmm. That's one of these guys. That's nasty. Sure. I think I'll need even more clay. That's nasty. Can you hear me, Clayface? I didn't see anything. That takes care of you. Need some more of this clay. Clayface, that you, buddy? I definitely need more of this. This glide ability is really good. I'm so happy that I've got the knighthood stuff completed. Basil, you have to stop. Ugh. Stop that. That's gotta be enough. Hey, Belfry, I got some of that weird clay for you to look at. Thanks. Get back here and we'll take a look. Okay, well that's it. Right, well, looks like we've got to go head back to the Belfry to deal with Clayface. Okay, well, since we're already out in Gotham, we might as well do some of the other stuff that we have available to us, such as the watch. Let's go see who this contact of Batman, uh, Batman's is and see how they can help us. And then, um, yeah, I guess we could do that on the way back and then head to the Belfry. Cool. Let's go. Here we are. Are you okay? That was dangerous as hell. Reckless drivers, I swear. Yoo-hoo, Nightwing! Hello. About time you showed up. Nightwing at your service. And you are? If I don't need to know your real name, you don't need to know mine. I got grandkids to think about. You can just call me Madame Palomares. Nice to meet you, Madame Palomares. Your message said you had some information. Madame Palomares. What I'm about to tell you is highly confidential. 
Okay. There's a group of us. People who want to see real change in Gotham. We call ourselves The Watch. Good name. What do you watch? Everything. I started the group years ago and I got fed up with all the bad apples in this town. Yeah, Gotham's got a whole orchard. I reached out to Batman for help. He wasn't too sure about us at first, but I showed him that having eyes on the ground could be useful. So we started giving him tips to help him keep our neighborhood safe. He told me that if he ever went quiet for this long, that I should reach out to you. So you're the eyes and ears out here. We can work with that. Especially if Batman vouched for you. This is cool. I'll spread the word to the other members of the Watch. He is missed. But the entire Watch has your back. We can do this. Together. Thank you. Right. So the Watch, a group of civilians who watch Gotham. That makes so much sense. Wow. That's interesting. Okay, the Madame Polamares. Like many Gothamites, Madame Polamares has grown tired of what the GCPD has become and started to watch and started the watch to bring real change to her neighborhood. Her background check came back clean and her intel has always been good. So we've entered a partnership. Her name is an alias, but I see no reason not to let her have not to let her have a little fun. Looks so we have others as well. Charlotte. After marrying into money, Charlotte saw what Gotham's upper class really thinks of those beneath them. She's seen how they treat the homeless as criminals, while they themselves are guilty of actual crimes. Tired of the hypocrisy, she joined the Watch to address the crimes overlooked or ignored by GCPD. Nice. David. Oh, he looks cool. As a bartender, David finds himself within earshot of conversations about criminal plots more often than he'd like. Yup, I can expect that. <laughs> but when he tries to report them to GCPD, he's brushed off. Now, as a member of the Watch, I can make sure his reports are taken seriously. This is amazing. Oscar. Oscar works on the docks, where he's exposed to all types of criminal activity. His bosses and dock security are all too happy to turn a blind eye, so he reluctantly joined the Watch. He's apprehensive about working outside the law, but his desire to see his family safe overrules his hesitancy. And finally, we have Toshio. Toshio is a newer arrival to Gotham, working as a teacher. Oh, his proximity to, to the city's youth has made him privy to telltale signs of criminal activity. From repeated student absences to mysterious donations to certain departments of the school, he joined the watch to make sure Gotham to make Gotham a safer city for his students. Wow, this is interesting. Cool. All right. I wonder how they can help us then. Well, I guess we'll find that out later. For now though, I think we might as well head back to the Belfry. But first, since we're here in Gotham Heights, let's secure this fast travel point and check out this time trial thing over in the Bowery and then we'll head back to the Belfry to deal with K Clayface. Thank you, Madame Bolomares. I love your name. See you soon. See you soon. And I found my drone. Surveillance drones. Scan them and then you'll be able to fly here. Oh, that's lucky. Ah, there's the second. Oh, that's lucky as well. Done. You got them all. Good. I've reprogrammed them to let you fly in the area. Thank you, Lucius. All right, but let's go ahead and fly over to here so we can do that time trial. Does anyone ever do that? Go to take a drink and just pour it all down yourself? All the time. Alright, where am I going? Hmm, on the lighthouse. Oh. 
Oh. All right. Looks like this is a proper race. Let's do it. Okay, down. Oh, the music's cool. Oh no. Okay. That's right. Oh. Ah, I missed that. Oh, this was difficult. Oh, this is giving me flashbacks. Terrible flashbacks to Arkham City's um augmented reality. Oh, I think we got it. Yes. Never a doubt. Right to be here. Whew. That was harder than it looked. But we did it. All right. Now we have an official mastery stamp on the glider. Although I'm not really sure if I can really say I do because <laughs> it took me like five attempts. <laughs> but nonetheless, it's done. All right, what we got? We studied the clay recovered at the mugging site. It's clearly clay face, but the DNA is different somehow, broken. Though the clay seems to stabilize when it comes together, that means clay face will become stronger as he reassembles himself. Right, so these are different pieces of clay face. We have to find him before he fully recon reconstituate, reconstituates. Stitch. I don't know that word. That word's difficult for me. Basically, Clayface is now in different pieces and he's trying to reassemble himself. So we've got to stop that before he's able to do it. Oh, wow. That's loads. Clay concentrations. He's everywhere. We analyzed every piece of clay we collected and they are all part of Clayface. There's no way we know how many more are out there. It looks terrifying. All right, let's see what we've got. I don't understand. Clayface fell in a turbine when he last fought Batman. How is he still alive? I'm not sure. He was torn to shreds. And yet, here we are. Just getting blended like a smoothie wasn't enough for him. So, what did we learn about our new friend? Well, I've studied Clayface's DNA before, and this is unlike anything I've ever seen. The structure is constantly changing. It's, it's like it can't reassemble itself. We're talking damaged nucleotides, unstable phosphate groupings, and synthesis abnormalities. I mean, abnormal even for Clayface. This sample seems especially disorganized, like, like it's trying to be five things at once. Oh, maybe it's because these pieces of him on their own aren't enough for him to stabilize into a singular conscious <laughs> entity. <clears throat> you guys are doing your nerd thing again. Sorry. Clayface might be in too many places at once, and he's having trouble being anything because of it. But the more that Clayface comes together, the stronger and smarter he gets. We definitely do not want that. What if he's already conscious? I mean, we can't just leave him like this. Putting him back together could endanger the whole city. We can't take that chance. Either way, it doesn't do us any good if we don't know where he is. The reservoir is connected to the city's aqueduct system. He could be anywhere. I would rather get him together than risk him than risk him doing it somewhere else. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's nice knowing you, Jason. He'll be fine. Probably. I'll scan the city for the Clay's unique signature. I'll let you all know if I find something. Yeah, have fun with that. Cool. Well, 
to be honest, I agree with... I agree with Dick Grayson. We can't just leave Clayface like that. I'd rather... I'd rather get him together, get all the pieces together in a, in a contained space so we can reassemble where we can control him rather than he potentially do it somewhere else. Hmm. Alright, looks like we're ready for the next part of the mission. So, let's see what we got. We know Clayface's next move. Investigate his cave file and go after him. Alright, let's do it. First the mugging and now whatever's going on at the docks. What is Clayface planning? Hard to say. Mr. Carlo has always been rather unpredictable. No time like the present to figure it out, I guess. Be careful. We still don't know for sure what the turbine might have done to him. All right, so why are we here? What's happened? We're tracking his signature now to see what he's up to, and I'm guessing they found something at the docks. Okay. So, I'm guessing Robin scanned for Clayface's signature, and it came out a lot at the docks. So something's going up here. Let's check it out and see what's happening. Hmm. These are just uh, TV parts, cameras and whatnot. Storage crates. Wait a minute, Clayface wanted to be an actor. Is it any coincidence that he has cameras and all sorts here? From a television studio? What's that one? Another one? Yep, television parts. We've got to find a way inside. gear that belonged to Elliot Studios. Weird. Who would steal this junk? Probably the guy we're investigating. Elliot Studios must need some more bright ideas if they're buying this many lights. Oh, that wasn't funny at all. <laughs> Come on, Nightwing, you can do better than that. Um Search the warehouse for clues. Oh, I'm just stepping all over this. What is that? Gross. Looks like Clayface went that away. Let's follow the tracks. Is he off to? All right, where is the big old lump of clay? This is the easiest job we've ever had. I don't know whose idea was to bring him along, but I owe him a drink. But doesn't it freak you out just a little bit? Man, that guy's strong enough to lift a Clay Mimic, along with Mob. Yeah, that's one 
Might as well get a bigger cut. So he squished one of you guys, and you guys are just, are just happy you're getting a bigger cut. Are these guys born stupid, or were they hit on a head as a kid? Oh, Jesus. I'm guessing the others run away. Ooh. Are we going into the sewers? No way you're getting away from me that easily. Oh, oh. I got clay face here. And he's moving fast. Got it. Stay on him. Don't worry. I've got this. Oh, oh, okay. I think I see it. Just follow the breaking of the road. Oh no. This is cool. Jeez. Ooh. It's like a snake. <laughs> oh no. Oh, is that it? Well, I'm glad my bad driving skills came in handy there. Okay. Let's see if we can find him down here. I thought I messed up when we finished there. I thought the bike just went away on me. I was like, no, <laughs> no, we need to go after him. Oh, glad that was planned. Clayface, are you making a film without us? You know we hold the copyright, right? Oh, I think they found us. Or at least Clayface senses that we're here. And this is a big room. Clay Mimics. Loads of clay mimics. Oh, that's not an exploding one. Are only some of them explosive? Yeah, I guess so. Him. Oh well, that was fun whilst it lasted. Oh. 
Right, well, looks like Clayface went down there, but what else is around here? Anything of use? No chests, no nothing? Huh. I guess not. Whew. The last time I've seen Clayface in a video game was Arkham City, and that was a really cool boss fight. The areas in this game are so cool. Now we're in the sewers. Hopefully we don't see Killer Croc. I can't handle that. That's too terrifying for me. He's obsessed. I wasn't the only one who saw that, right? He's obsessed with fans. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh. Oh, why is the chest... Oh, God. Then I was alone. In the dark. No. Not alone. With him. With who? You were alone with who? Movie script. He cut me, tore me apart, abandoned me. Trying to find him again. I can't find him. That was terrifying. I feel like this takes a lot of creative license. Clayface's movie script. The script is covered in mud, but an expert, but an excerpt is still visible. Um, introduction: Reservoir Night. Our awesome hero Clayface and the evil Batman are fighting. Clayface is losing, but laughs in the face of danger. Clayface, you can kill me, Batman, but you'll never kill my legacy. Everyone loves me, but they hate you. The terror of Gotham. Batman, that's why you must die, Clayface. Without you here, they will finally love me. Batman laughs de dementedly. He puts his foot on Clayface and pushes him into the turbine. Clayface disappears into the darkness while Batman keeps laughing. Yeah, a lot of creative license. Well, creative liberties, whatever Nightwing said. Well, I mean, good for him for getting on his creative side, I guess. Jesus. That hurt. I'll never forget that moment when you're going to investigate Talia in Arkham City and you can find Killer Croc in the sewers. Like, it's a secret. Well, it's an easter egg. That was so cool. One of my favourite moments of that game. Because you can completely miss it as well. I wonder if there's anything like that in this game. There he is. Ooh. Yeah, don't ask what this is. You don't want to know. He's got a whole set made. I should have killed you a long time ago, Basil. I won't make the same mistake again. Really? Yeah, 
That's not how it went down. <laughs> you took the hostages. Batman only showed up to help them. You fell into the turbine all by yourself. How would you know? You were <sighs> I saw the security tapes. He didn't have anything to do with it. If Batman wants me to change the script, tell him to come down here himself. Let him come. He can't. He's dead. Are you just, I thought we weren't telling people that. But he was in the reservoir. Just a few days ago. It's been almost a year, Basil. A lot has changed. He really can't control himself, can he? I don't even think this is fully formed Clayface either. He's obsessed with being in the spotlight. I think he's healing them. Yep, he healed them. Oh no. How do we stop that from happening? Defeat them really quick? I'm not even too sure. Or interrupt them. Alright, I think I need to get them all at a certain health. So he's low, but he's not in need of healing yet. Okay, we'll get the others down. Oh no, oh, he, t he tag teamed me. All right, he's yellow. Let's get the other one to yellow. Right, he's yellow. Let's get them to red now. All right, he's red. Alright, he's red. Alright, now they're all red. All we've got to do is make sure that we get them all. Alright, he's done. Done it. Gone, Basil. This isn't gonna fix anything. 
This biopic is based on a true story. My son. And I want that to ruin it. I don't think he's doing that. Something else is happening to him. Small fries out the way first. Okay, third one. All right, we've got incoming. Too bad, too close. Alright, now we're with the three again. Same routine as last time, we need to get them down to the sectors at the same time. So we'll start with you. He's yellow. Next one. Two. Three. All right, he's yellow as well. And he's yellow. Oh, I missed the aerial attack there, but that's okay. All right, now we're just gonna get them down to red. 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 Alright, now they're all red, all we've got to focus on is taking them out quickly. That's one. Two. And done. Okay. And we're back again. Same routine as last time. Oh, that's a new move. Now they explode themselves. gonna keep coming I think they are Alright, we've got to focus on them three then. Oh, 
He's yellow. If I can take a few out as I go, it might be alright. As long as I don't take all of them out. Alright, yellow. yellow. Let's get them to red. Oh, that was bad. Alright, red. Alright, he's red as well. Alright, now we're just going to focus on taking them down. Good, that's one. Done! He's like slime more than clay. This isn't good. But I want to go see a movie. <laughs> I'm coming back home. Clayface got away. Whatever he's planning, it's not going to be good. Right. The show Mud Go On. All right, got it. Let's see what we have. Huh. <sighs> so, Clayface spent the last year reassembling himself and doesn't remember what really happened at the reservoir. He thinks Batman tried to kill him. Clayface was so deluded, he even wrote a script and tried to film a movie to discredit Batman. So he's been gone for a whole year reassembling himself. So he was spread pretty far. He just cares about one thing, being in the spotlight. And that's what it used to look like. Clayface is alive, but where is he exactly? Clayface found more of his clay in the sewers. Because of it, he was able to create and control multiple versions of himself at once. He's getting stronger. We found Clayface and confronted him. Fortunately, he escaped. Yeah, that wasn't even Clayface at his full form, and that's terrifying. But it seems like he... You can tell that he's very much not in control of himself, considering the fact that when he tried to shapeshift into Batman, he just had himself, but with bat ears. <laughs> like, Clayface can do much better than that. So he's weak. And that's terrifying, because he... Because that was pretty difficult, and he's weakened, so we really have to stop him from reassembling, if we can. I guess that's that. Clayface. Clayface is still alive. He seems to have been separated into clay entities that are causing trouble around the city. We're analysing samples now. That should lead us to him. Tim Drake. Clay Mimic. And, yeah, we read that one. Clay homol Homolxilus? Clay humanoids who swarm Gotham City sewers in large numbers. These gooey goons work double duty as Clayface's film crew. And the Amalgamite. 
Hmm. Large anthropomorphized clay separated from clay face. The more pieces he brings together, the more powerful and intellect his clay avatars become. These guys were difficult. Corey. Oh, Starfire. I know we had plans for this weekend, but I'll understand if you'd rather ca cancel with everything going on. Another option could be I that I come to Gotham. The Titans are willing to help if you'd let us. You don't have to do this alone, and I know you well enough to know you benefit from being around friends. Let us be there for you. I'll expect you'll say no, I'll expect you'll say no but I told Cyborg to at least try. Corey. P.S. If dinner is still on, I promise not to talk about work. <laughs> and Jason Todd. Snickerdoodles. From Henrietta Tinsley. Hello, Richard, and thank you for your kind email. I'm flattered you have so many food memories of the Tingley Bakery. If only more people in the neighbourhood felt the way you do, we still might be in business. I'm more than happy to help share the Snickledoodle recipe with you. Please make sure it goes to good use. I appreciate the offer of payment, but instead, just send me a picture of when you make the first batch deal. And then there's the recipe. I wonder if that's an actual recipe. Right. What's this for? Just hunted this down for Babs. Say no more. <laughs> that mission was very cool, however. That was awesome. The sewers are such a cool place to go in Batman games. Alright. But I wonder what we can do now.